New Kipper in front again today. No sugar coating can hide it. Britain's main political parties, like many of their counterparts in Europe, have fallen out of favour. Tories at the moment, uh, we've got them on 23%. UKIP we've got on 32%. Labour on 12%. Sweet shop owner John Baldock's customer poll echoes official forecasts. An overwhelming win for the United Kingdom Independence Party, or UKIP, in this picture postcard town. The UKIP surge has turned a by-election that would have been a mere blip on the electoral calendar into a major political fight in a castle town not unfamiliar with epic battles. And this one was triggered by Mark Reckless when the local politician defected from the Conservative Party. We should be an independent country, but uh, I also believe we need to reform our political system, deal with the deficit and keep our promises. I, I didn't think David Cameron was doing that. The ruling Conservatives had banked on a growing economy and falling unemployment to keep voters on board. But UKIP's anti-immigration and anti-EU policies are finding support with an electorate that is disillusioned with the establishment. A victory here could take UKIP a step closer to role of power broker in next year's general election, raising the odds of a British exit from the EU. That's a scenario many business leaders say would be a disaster for Britain's economy and the EU. They'll be hoping the recent love for UKIP melts away by May 2015. Mm, UKIP. Tom McKenzie, Bloomberg.